Alright, Dark Productions here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to basically how you basically handle ISOs, bins, and how to make, make them so they can convert them to different formats and whatnot. Now, the program you need for this is CD Burner XP. The link is in your description. This is a free way of software that allows you to pretty much do anything you need to do, burning wise, erasing. You can do everything with this, except make DVDs in its own entirety. Uh, you can also make audio discs, without, so you don't need to. Do, you don't. We wouldn't need to use iTunes, unless you define the spaces, the crossfades, and all that. But for what we need, if you want to make an ISL from a disc, you got to copy a grab disc. You hit OK. You basically insert the disc. Let me see if I have anything in here so I can show you. Okay, I'll do it to H. You choose the hard drive where you want to save it at. Uh, for demonstration, I'll save it on my media drive. Test. It will automatically add all that. Then you copy the disk. And it will copy your disk to an ISO format. An ISO is basically an image of the drive that's compressed. And it allows you to burn multiple copies of the disk. Now, the standard way of copying all the file directories all the files in a directory, the whole entire disk, and putting it onto another one. That works sometimes, but it, it's it's prone to fail. This way will not fail you. You can use this to copy games, DVDs, whatever your hard content is. And then, if you really want to be lazy about it and not have to mount, and not have to actually burn a DVD, you can get another program called Demon Tools. This allows you to mount those DVDs, everything that you pirate, everything you get off the internet, and without having the actual drive. So if I wanted to, I would go to, let's see, I would go to Media, Test ISO, and you see it in the image catalog. So that would mount it on one of the drives, I'll drive, mount it on one that's not taking it, I, and now, that CD is mounted on my disk. So if you go to my computer, it shows it two times. Because I mounted the one that I took, an, I took a, I made an ISO of. Now that's if you want to mount ISOs and whatnot. Now the other way is that if you want to actually burn the ISO, if you go to burn ISO image, and then you simply browse to it. So for me, I would go to 2003 Enterprise. Into the disk, burn the disk. You let it, uh, when you first put the disk in, wait about 20 seconds because your drive is going to scan and it'll let you know what speed it's able to burn it and do all that, blah, blah, leave all these default. If your file is not an ISO and it's a bin or some Q file, you can convert it. Sometimes this won't convert correctly, which is why you get magic ISO. This is also another freeware program. Just try it. You don't need to actually buy this program to be able to convert the shit. You just go to convert. You choose the source. You choose the type you want to convert it to. And then you, you just choose the output and let it convert. You don't need to buy a full copy. And this is also in the description. And in this tutorial, I basically showed you how to burn, convert, and handle ISOs and raw images of disk files. If you have any questions, hit up the comments. Thanks for watching.